Hello everyone. I'm going to set up this video for you guys who might be at home under quarantine or just feeling under the weather um, so you can keep up with ag class and especially intro to ag. So most of you probably remember that we were talking about SAEs when we got when we left for Christmas break. Um, we're going to kind of finish up that unit and select um, our own SAE and kind of get it started so we can actually keep a record book on it. This is all found on your Google Classroom. So um, this is kind of what your page will look like. It's gonna be, be a 10 point activity and you can have all your directions right here. So please feel free to take a look at Google Classroom to get those explanations. But I'm going to be mainly showing you how to set up your SAE project that you're gonna do um, this semester. So your first thing will be to log into your account Remember your school ID, your chapter number is KS0045, and then you're gonna want to put your username and password in. Your username and password should be your first initial and your full last name, and your password should be the same unless you've changed it, and I know some of you have, so only you will know that then. So I'll go ahead and log in. We are going to use an old FFA members account, um, Lucas is, so we can kind of learn together. So then press login. That should look familiar. This first page should look really familiar because you guys have already done all your basic setup. But we're gonna set up your SAE today. So you're gonna click on profile. Then you're gonna go to your activities, specifically the project experience manager. So we'll click on it. Okay, we'll see here that Lucas has quite a few um, different SAEs set up for him. Um, some of them are active, some of them are inactive, just kind of depends on how he used his SAE and how he got started. Um, but we're actually going to show you how to create a new SAE. So you're going to go to add new. Okay, and then we're going to fill out the information. So we're going to say Lucas is starting his own sheep farm. So we're going to go, um, we'll call it Lucas Sebesta's Sheep Farm. Okay, so that'll be the name, and you'll be able to name your project whatever you would like. So if you're going to be doing more of a job shadow, because you want to do one job shadow through the Ag Ed program, maybe you go the Veterinary Job Shadow as your name. So you'll choose that name. If some of you are using a project that you've already got started, please use that name, um, you know, that you've already have. So if you're already doing a turf grass one where you're mowing lawns for people, actually just call it your business name. So maybe it's um, Mrs. Stover's Turf Grass Company, whatever. Okay. So fill out the name. Then you're going to go to Experience Focus. Okay. Um, most of you will have an individual um, focus. So if you're doing a job shadow, an internship, a placement, or an entrepreneurship, that's going to be individual. Okay. If you're looking at more of a service learning project where maybe you're doing things for the community, we would mark service learning. Um, School-based is more for some of our older ones who are working directly um, in like a horticulture-based class and building projects or in the ag projects class and actively building projects. So that one's probably not appropriate for us in Intro to Ag. So most of you will select individual. Then we're going to go tracking your experience. Okay, so this is where you're going to determine what type of SAE this is going to be. So I'm talking about Lucas Sebesta's sheep farm. So this is actually his personal business. Okay, so I'm going to mark entrepreneurship ownership. Okay, for some of you, okay, if you are just talking about maybe a job you want to get or maybe a job you currently have, so maybe you already work at the vet clinic, okay, and you get paid to do that, you would just mark paid placement. Or unpaid placement. So maybe it's you work for mom and dad. Uh, maybe you mow their lawn. Okay, that would be an unpaid placement because most likely they're not giving you cash. They're saying you get a roof over your head and food in your belly, and that's your that's your payment. Okay. Um, now, if you're going to do a job shadow, okay, I would like you to select foundational. Okay. So job shadows, remember foundational. Okay. If you're working for somebody else, okay, either paid or unpaid placement. If you're starting your own business, entrepreneurship ownership. In my case, it's going to be an entrepreneurship ownership. Okay, primary experience category. We'll drop down. This is going to be in animal systems. 
because sheep are animals, so it probably fits more appropriately there. The primary subcategory is going to be sheep. Okay, the category unit, um, you could do commercial breeding sheep, um, you could mark market sheep, show sheep, registered sheep. Um, we're going to say this is for head of show sheep. Okay. And you can also put in a management module. Okay. For this one, um, you can select market replacements, um, breeding herd. Um, we're going to go market replacements manager for this one. So I have this effectively set up um, so we can create this SAE. And I'm going to click save. Oh, awesome. So you get back to this screen and we see that Lucas Sebesta's sheep farm is now active. The next thing you need to do for me today is you need to click on the pencil next to that one you just created. So here is the pencil. I'm going to click on it. This is your plan. This is the item I have to have you fill out um, so that we know what your goals are. If you don't set any goals for your SAE, you're really not going to get a lot out of it. Okay, so we want to set goals. We want to kind of give ourselves a scope of how this is going to look. So this is pretty, pretty self-explanatory, truthfully. Um, we get in here, and there is four tabs. Description, time investment, financial investment, and learning objectives. So if you have a placement one, you might not have the financial investment. Okay, if you do a foundational one, you probably won't have a financial investment, okay? And that's okay. You just fill out the ones that you have tabs for. So as we go through here, I want you to fill out all the information, um, and you will see that it gives you kind of an example um, to go off of. This is the example, okay? So you can actually just use theirs and kind of get yourself going and right. So... For this one, you know, I could say my interest and motivation for this project is I really like breeding sheep. Um, it's really interesting. I find it a fun. I've always enjoyed showing sheep. Um, I want to learn more about the sheep industry. Boom. I just write that down. Next, my project will start on. Okay, my project is going to start in March when I buy my breeding lamb okay, or my show sheep. And then it's going to end in when I sell it after the Kansas Junior Livestock Show. Okay, next up, my project goals are the goals you get to set for yourself. So they're individual to you. So maybe your goals might be in this project. Step one, I want to make the call back in sheep showmanship at my county fair. Step two, I want to learn about um, nutrition with sheep. Three, I want to learn about properly giving shots on sheep for health protocols. Boom. Done. Yours are going to be individual to you. Okay. Next, blank is assisting me with my project and helping me through these activities. So it might be Mrs. Stover is going to help me through this project. It might be my dad and my mom are going to help me. Okay. It might be that the local veterinarian is going to help me. Okay. So that's dependent on what your project is. And the last one, it says in terms of project safety, more areas of safety include list stuff that maybe you need to take special caution to. Okay, so if I was doing a shop-oriented SAE, maybe it's like I need to be wearing safety glasses so I don't, you know, bum an eye out. Um, I need to be wearing welding gloves so I don't get burns. Okay, it's individualized to your project. So that'll finish this one out. Um, as you go through here, you'll notice that it gives you a basic outline for you to do your writing with. Okay, boom. You can kind of use that. That's great. So time investment, you see. A okay, financial investment. Hey, you will only see this tab really, especially in this much detail in the entrepreneurship. Okay, so it gives you an outline. You can kind of think about your money that's going to go into this. We talked about, you know, entrepreneurship is a lot more expensive to start because you have to have so much money up front. Think about it. If you're going to start your own lawn mowing business, hey, you have to have a mower. Hey, you're probably going to have to buy your own mower unless you can get mom and dad talked into, you know, sponsoring that first mower. But if you buy your own, you know, you might have $200 in a push mower. Hey, if you want to buy a riding lawnmower, you might have a grand in it. Okay, so it's to get you to thinking about what this is going to cost, what's it going to look like, what, you know, 
it might even help you decide whether or not you have the funds to actually do this or not. That's a good thing to figure out now versus later. Okay. Your last one is the learning objectives. Okay. This is where you actually will click on the add and explore skill areas. And you can go through here and pick things that you want to learn, and these are kind of your objectives. Okay, so let's just maybe look at a couple of them here. I think one that's really good is to demonstrate management techniques that ensure animal welfare. So you'll just click on the Add button. Okay, so we're going to add that one, and then I'm going to click Save and Back to SAE Plan. Boom, it showed up. The moment it shows up, it's going to have a box for you and you just need to type how you're going to do that so maybe it's um providing fresh water for my sheep okay maybe it's figuring out a ration that allows my sheep to grow appropriately maybe that's designing a pen to keep my sheep safe so they can't hurt themselves and die okay you can only decide that but remember, you have to go to Add and Explore Skill Areas, select a skill, save it, and then come back to this page and you can type on it, okay? After you get all done with this, you're going to push Save All and Return. You need to make sure you do all the tabs, okay? So I'm going to just pretend we did all the tabs, okay? Um, and that should kind of set you up for success, okay? That is the first big thing I want you to do today. Um, we'll kind of show you how to keep records on this on another day. Okay, see you guys later. Have a great day.